Hello there, VAC fans, and welcome to Mini Meet number 17, so I'm told. And Thomas has brought up two machines. This one he's going to leave with me. It's a Shark NV650. And we'll run it through a whole bunch of tests here. It's a lot newer than my Shark NV22, so I guess we'll have to compare these two. That's kind of obvious there. I will mention this model has been around for a it's been around for a short period of time, but it is one of their newer ones. <laughs> it's a uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly when this machine came out, what the manufacturer date is, but it is newer. Yeah, it's definitely newer than the <clears throat> NV22, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's the first one. And we're going to take a look at his, now this was a dumpster, dive, dumpster dive, dumpster dive, Hoover Direct Air 7.2 amps, uses only 7.2 amps, and he's got a new used cord on it. And the thing is, it sounds like this. Gah. Yeah, I just bet you. She's drawing a bucket fan. It's gonna need something. Brand new brush roll that I put yeah, in. Yeah, it's got a brand new brush roll in there. <clears throat> that's they're very long. Um and really soft. It, so that's what's supposed to go in there, or is that just yeah? That's what, a what the, that's what a direct it? replacement. Wow. Okay. So real long bristles, but super soft. Oh, it grooms your carpet phenomenal too. Like when oh. I turn this machine on, and use it in my house. Like, well, I'll tell you this: it essentially pulls the machine forward, kind of like. Okay. All right. And guess what? He is going to do, or at least start out. He's going to start taking it apart, and then. Um, we're going to put our heads together and maybe uh, see if we can figure out how to get this motor apart. And right now, he's got a Bissell Type 7? Yeah. Yeah, HEPA bag in there, although it's supposed to fit a Hoover A bag. That's what it says on the, on the back of the machine here. Those Bissell Style 7 bags, they fit a gaggle of vacuums. It is awesome. 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 Like, it fits Hoovers, it fits Dirt Devils, obviously the Bissell. Um, just about any kind of old, upright Hoover, Dirt Devil, Bissell, you can stick that bag on. And I love it. Fabulous. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's see how Thomas can do taking this green machine apart. to take this yeah. we use this and, off and we had to, yeah we yep. had to tap the mm -hmm. piece off here well 
Well, we officially come to a roadblock. Um, Partial roadblock. Yeah, the we can take this bearing off and repack it and yeah. fix it, but there's Ooh. another bearing deep in here that, in a nutshell, was it's basically never right. meant to come out of the machine. Yeah. It's riveted. And you can't even get to the... Uh, you can't commentator. polish the commentator. Yeah, can't polish the commentator. Can't get to that that bearing. The only thing you could do is yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's such a bad sounding bearing, but uh, yeah, I think we can fix that. So unfortunately, it's a little bit of a lost cause, but it is what it is. You know, things happen. I'm not discouraged about. It. We'll just do the we'll do the best we can and put it back together and uh, maybe clean the machine up a little bit make it shine i'll just have to it is what it is yeah sure yeah I mean, be better than nothing <clears throat> controls oh did you want to do the base no thing over there i see a little pile of dirt there the, the black base that's right there oh yeah i mean maybe nothing will come out but looks like a good candidate for something <laughs> Okay, wonderful. So now we will catch you up to speed as to what we were doing before Thomas started vacuuming. So we uh, realized that the motor you can only take partially apart. Um, you can't get to both bearings, but you can get to at least one of them. So we repacked the original bearing and put it back in. So now I don't know if you can, can, can you reach that, can you reach the motor? So now what we have is a bearing that's been fully cleaned and repacked and it's probably not perfect, but it's in really good shape. And this one where the bearing is underneath the fan, yeah, you, you, you can't get to it. This is uh, riveted in there. So no easy way that I saw to actually get that out. So if anybody knows a, a way to get that out, by all means, uh, let me know.
So on this, that's kind of cool. Look at this little switch right here. Yeah. So that's the switch that gets activated um, from the, the body, from that really long um, little red piece when you push that activator there. Okay, so now we need to try to get this thing back together and see how it runs. So take it away, Thomas. Do your, do your thing. Here, Julia. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All right. Wonderful. So, this is the very first run. We have not turned it on since we did the work on it. So, all right. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, it sounds better than when we started. I think. Not that great though. Well, we got one out of two bearings done, and I'm sure the other bearing needs it too. So let's go ahead and vacuum a little bit. Right, so after a second inspection, I'm wondering maybe if it was, say, a slipping belt, because I ran it again off camera, and there was no funny smell. But let me run this again and see what happens, but I'm not putting it on the carpet. two bearings. I'm not smelling anything funny at all. So now let me run it back on the carpet 
and let me see if maybe uh, it's a slipping belt or something like that. totally smell free so we're in good shape ah that's quite a relief now let's do a suction test with the accessory hose in So that looks like around 30 inches of lift, and that's really not surprising for a direct air machine. I mean, Kirby's don't do all that much more than that. Okay, so let's try the Baird meter. And real quickly, we found out that um, unloaded, what was it using, 6 point? Yeah, unloaded with this thing just sitting here, it was uh, 6.7 amps, and then actually running it on the carpet, it was dead on 7.2. So even if it sounds terrible, uh, the motor's still running approximately correctly. Oh, here, I can, I can turn it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and stretch the hose out. I'm trying to give it the best chance possible here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Something or other, if we get lucky on a good day. Play it in it, Steve. Yep. There it is. Oh, it went up just a little bit. It was in between a two and a half and a two. Okay, so a two is 62 CFM. So that's that's what this thing can do. So it's kind of a gentle cleaning, I guess you could say, from the hose. But it's still neat that you could have a hose plug into a direct air machine. So. I'm not familiar uh, with these. This isn't something I normally used uh, 20 years ago. So when I first came across your your Dirt Devil and it would take an accessory hose, I'm like, oh, that is that is pretty cool. Yeah, and it didn't have the accessory hose with it, so we couldn't yeah. test it. Okay. Nice and smooth. Quiet. Yep. Low speed. Yeah, low speed. And the light bulb goes dim. The only car to ever do this. Yeah. Look at the front Oh, yeah, flip the thingy in. Oh, all right, I'm going black here. Yeah, go again. Yep. Yeah, the Diamond Edition, very, very unusual. The only one they made that was like that. All right, now your turn. All right. All so right. I get to run the shark. I like these older crews that have the clean slot in them. Yeah. How do you work this here thing? I need a special driver's license or something? Well, no. You can't run that thing. We need to put you in a vacuum institution. Yep. 
I think these new potter run. How I got so used to automatic cord wands. Yeah. So like this, and then oh, I can turn it on from the handle. Oh, turn it on from the handle. You gotta be in lift away when you got it too. Oh, nice speed control or whatever. It's hardcore. That's airport really. And then that's uh. Hey. Oh wow. Okay. That's for airport really. Yeah. You put it in the middle one for it to shut off. And you push it all the way down and turn the brush roll off. Oh, this thing is, is hard to push. In the middle position here it says low pile. Yeah, for this part you put it in the... Wow, so thick carpet area rug. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So putting it on low pile and it's a little, it's a little hard to push. And you push all the forward and turn the brush roll off. And then all the way down. And then the brush roll goes off. Right there. Yep. But you know what's funny is this thing is won't move. Yeah, it's about it's just about stuck to the carpet. You really have to manhandle it. How about that? So then, what is it? You do the, the lift away thing here. So what? You push the button. Pull it up. Then we separate it. We, we now have separation. You just hold on to it, turn it on. Okay. You can either set it down, okay. it will fall over if you do so though. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm, I'll I'm, hold I'm it for okay, you. hold it, okay. Turn yourself on. Yeah, I found that like one thick carpet like that, you uh, put it in lift away mode. Like that. That's, it, yeah. Yeah, it's in the middle one. And this is this is so easy now. It just it comes up when it's on when it's on thick. So yeah, put it down here on low. Yeah. And then that that holds that holds down a little bit better. You gotta main hard. handle the hose though. It's not as hard to push, but yeah, I have to use my other hand for the hose. And then swivel, swivel. Swivel, swivel, and then you go ahead and just like that. There you go. And take the wand out. You just it does have the yeah airflow relief. I'm stuck in the leaf. I mean, yeah. something okay so we're gonna go ahead and close out mini me 17 yep 17 geez where did the time go and you're gonna see a lot of tests with this airflow box sand uh, we'll do some baking soda and whatever else we can think of brush roll speed we do stuff like that now uh, power nozzle CFM yeah absolutely it's gonna go on the airflow box that's for sure Okay, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Shark NV650. Okay, I got the number right. Bye-bye.